Hey guys, BTR Plumbing here, and today I will be filming my 2003 American Standard Champion 4 toilet. So, uh, I've been getting a lot of comments. Y'all have been saying you've been missing the flushometer videos. Well, some good news is I got a whole bunch of new flushometer fixtures, and I will show you most of them. Uh, so, there will be a lot of flushometer videos coming up soon, but starting off with this Penryn. And let's see, if I go over here, I got a lot more cool stuff. I got this Crane Santin Jr., which I've never seen one of these before. It's in pretty, it's in okay shape. It's really dirty right now, but it's got some glaze cracks, but that's expected with these older cranes. Uh, I got this standard Madeira toilet, which is also really cool. Again, it needs to be cleaned up, but the logo isn't super faded, which is awesome. And then over here, I got another Kilgore Argus. So I have two different generation Kilgore Argus toilets, which is really, really cool. Hopefully I can get these spuds off because if I try to hook them up the way they are, they will spray everywhere. Um, again, these are all in good shape. And then over here, I got three of these, which are really awesome. I've never seen one of these until I got them, but it's a Crane Pearson toilet. So I got three of them. There's one here one there and then one here as well and i also got this um crane santin i can't find the crane logo and i don't really know any of the dates on these yet but um once uh i have the time i will get them filmed up and show y'all in better detail what they are but uh so yeah that's pretty much it for the new uh vintage and some antique uh flushometer fixtures and these are also really cool. I got these from the abandoned Kilgore Ceramics Factory. This is for Mansfield. This is what they use to put on the back of the bowl when before the toilet is fired and they punch out the holes and the opening for the tank, which is awesome. And same here, but for the fill valve. But um, yeah, now uh, this thing uh, I got for free. I really like these toilets personally. Uh, there's some people who aren't a fan of them, but I really like these older ones. I think they're much better than the newer champions. They got a giant trapway with an extremely powerful siphon, and they also have a big siphon jet too, but this one seems to be a little bit wonky. But um, let me show y'all inside the tank. Uh, the tank leaks very badly. So, and again, I do apologize for any background noise. I find it interesting that in 2003, they still use the standard logo, which is cool. And then here it says April, and then it says 10 a.m. I don't know what that's all about. And then here it says Made in Mexico by America Standard. And here's the date. It is the 10th of August, 2003. But um, enough talking. Let me give you all a few flushes. So, Alrighty. Here is the first flush. This one, the flush is really interesting. It flushes, it seems like it flushes a little bit slower than my round one, but um, the bowl rinse on it is really good. That's one thing I like about these toilets because it's, that is just a giant uh, hole in the rim. That's really weird. I've never seen that before. I don't think it goes to anything. And then there's that rim jet there and there's a few big ones in the back. So there's definitely no lack of bowl rinse really on this toilet, but um, here is another flush. So it, it kind of flushes like it's clogged, but it's not because I've flushed my rag down it a few times. I actually don't know where the rag is. If I find it, I will flush it, but it is not clogged. It's just this, it flushes like that for whatever reason. But um, so, and there are quite a bit of these on YouTube. Uh, so I won't spend too much time flushing this as I have a lot more videos to make and some flushometer ones too, because y'all have been waiting a long time for those flushometer videos, but let me do another flush, but I'm gonna hold down the handle for a little bit. That has a much better flush. So I feel like if the flush was a little bit longer, it would be better, but this is honestly something I wouldn't mind having in my house just because of the good performance. And this is a very, very heavy toilet. I guess apparently it weighs 112 pounds, which is crazy. This carrying this out of the building I got it from was a nightmare I just it was horrible and my muscles were all sore afterwards but honestly I think it was worth it considering um, how much I like these toilets and I also like how the back of it the bowl is raised up I think that's just to add to the flushing power I could be wrong but um here's another flush 
so yeah overall i definitely like this toilet um i used to have a round one but it broke during the freeze and then i recently got another one when i made a trip to occ plumbing's house we got at a dumpster and then i got this elongated one so i have a round and elongated champion so maybe i'll have to do a, a, a comparison test or like flush test with both of them or performance test just to see how well the elongated and the round ones do but um yeah really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe leave y'all's comments down below and i will see y'all in my next video bye